वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू डी लैच इन दिस वीडियो सो बिफोर वी गो फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डी लैच वर्किंग इट्स सर्किट एज वेल एज इट्स ट्रू टेबल वन शुड नो द बेसिक डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन डी लैच एंड डी फ्लिफ लॉप सी इन डी फ्लिफ लॉप वी हैव क्लॉक सिग्नल एज इनपुट वाल इन डी लैच वी डोंट हैव एनी क्लॉक सिग्नल एज इनपुट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट बेसिक डिफरेंस दैट वन शुड नो रिगार्डिंग डी लैच now let me explain you the working which is there with d latch so see in d latch our input that will get transferred to output in case of enable is equals to 1 so our output that will be similar to input provided enable terminal that is equals to 1 and our output that will stay in memory state provided enable is equals to 0 so what is the meaning of memory state it will store previous state that one should know right memory means it will store previous state as if enable is equals to 0 and our output that will be similar to input as if enable is equals to 1 see this is the basic working which is there with d latch now to understand basic working of d latch one should know sr latch using nor gate so see i have already explained sr latch using nor gate with complete detail so here let me draw the circuit first so here we have two input terminal s and r and output is q and q bar and i have told you one should not forget order when you make sr latch using nor gate at that time r should be there with this terminal and s that should be there with this terminal and output will be q q bar right and if you see its truth table then in its truth table inputs are s and r and output is q and q bar so as per two inputs there are total four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now when s and r in is 0 0 in that case our output will stay in memory state when s and r that is 0 1 in that case output will be 0 1 with q and q bar when snr is 10 at the time output is 10 with q and q bar and when snr that is 11 at the time output will be invalid see this is what i have already explained you so here we are not going in detail to understand this truth table right now let me explain you the basic circuit which is there with d latch as per this sr latch so you will have to connect and gate with this s and r terminal so let me connect it first now see with both of this and gate one terminal that is enable terminal and if you observe second terminal then see this d terminal that is directly connected with this and gate and this d terminal that we need to invert over here and connect it to this and gate right so this is what now d input right and this is what our complete circuit of d latch now one should know how this circuit functions so for that let us have a first case now in first case i'll consider enable is equals to 0 right now when enable is equals to 0 see any input is zero with and gate will result s and r is equals to zero so s and r that will be zero no matter what is our input d and as if s and r both are zero zero you see as per this truth table q q bar that will stay in memory state right so let us mention this see case 1 in which enable is equals to zero then we don't need to see what is d means d is don't care then you will be finding your output q that will stay in memory state right so that is what i have already told you if enable is zero it will store previous data right now let us have second case and in second case i'll consider enable is equals to 1 now when enable is equals to 1 at a time with d there are two possibilities so let us consider first possibilities that is zero 
So when d is 0, you see this enable is 1 and this d is 0. This 0 that will make it 1 over here and this 1 that will be over here. So this 1 1 that will make this reset 1 and this 1 0 that will make this set 0. So when s is 0, r is 1 at the time q q bar that will be 0 1 right. So when enable is equals to 1 and d is equals to 0 in that case if you consider only q is our output then q is equals to 0 right. So we can say d is equals to q. Now let us consider one more case so that will resolve our understanding bit more. C enable is equals to 1 and D is equals to 1. So if enable is equals to 1, 1 is over here and D is equals to 1 means this will be 1 and this one that will make this 0. So 0 1 input that will make this 0 and 1 1 input that will make this 1. So we can say set is 1, reset is 0. So when set is 1, reset is 0, Q will be 1. So in this third case, enable is equals to 1, d is equals to 1, it means our q that is 1, right. So here you can see if enable is 0, in that case output is there in memory state and when enable is 1, you see d is equals to q, right. So here we can make a truth table of d flip flop. So as per this, we can say here we have enable terminal this is my d input and my output q is over here with d latch and in this if enable is 0 then no matter what is d output will stay in memory state but when enable is 1 d can be 0 or it can be 1 if it is 0 output will be in 0 and if it is 1 in that case output will be 1. See this is how truth table is there with D latch. Right. So here if you see some cases then what will happen? If enable is 0 then this will stay in memory state. If it is 1 in that case D will be equals to Q. See this is how it is functioning. Right. I hope that you have understood this video.